Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, bandits who kidnapped students of Bethel Baptist High School in Kaduna State have allegedly reduced the ransom for the release of the captives to 60 million naira. Recall that armed men had stormed the school and abducted over 100 students some weeks ago. Reverend Ishaya Jangodo, the proprietor of the school, had said after a head count of the students as directed by the bandits that 121 students were being held. On Monday, the bandits made a new demand of 500,000 naira from each family of the remaining 120 students. It was gathered that the bandits also gave Monday as deadline for the payment of the ransom. At number four, the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, will ride his own rocket to space today, Tuesday. This will be a key moment for a fledging industry seeking to make the final frontier accessible to elite tourists. Blue Origin is launching Bezos to space and has planned its first crewed mission. Blue Origin, the space company founded by Amazon executive chairman in 2000, has been testing prototypes for its new Shepard rocket and capsule for more than a decade. At number three, troops of Operation Hadin Kai have killed three Boko Haram terrorists and arrested many others, including informants and logistics suppliers, in recent encounters in the Northeast. The Army Director of Public Relations, Oyema Nwachuku, disclosed this in a statement on Monday in Abuja. According to him, the 151 Task Force Battalion troops killed the terrorists in an ambush operation on their crossing point along Banki Junction, Mianti Road, while others escaped with gunshot wounds. He also revealed that on July 15th, troops arrested some suspected terrorists who surrendered along with their families while fleeing their enclaves, following a continuous bombardment of their hideouts. At number two, President Muhammad Buhari has appointed Professor Ibrahim Dantani Wushishi as the Substantive Registrar and Chief Executive Officer of the National Examinations Council. A statement signed by NECO's Head of Public Relations and Information, Aziz Sani, released on Monday in Niger State, confirmed the appointment of the new registrar. Wushishi replaces Professor Godswill Obioma, who died in May. The new registrar is the first indigene of Niger State appointed to head the council. His appointment is for a period of five years. At number one, popular Yoruba nation agitator Sunday Igboho has allegedly been arrested in Kotonu, Benin Republic. A top source revealed that Igboho was arrested by security forces at an airport in Kotonu on Monday night. This is coming about three weeks after the Department of State Services declared the activist wanted for allegedly stockpiling arms, an allegation he has since denied. The source also revealed that Igboho will be repatriated to Nigeria today from Benin Republic. The source said he was arrested in Kotonu while he tried to travel out on Monday night. His destination was Germany. The security forces in Benin Republic should repatriate him to Nigeria on Tuesday. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.